Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and to another walking tour. We're all aware of the famous Colosseum that is housed in Rome. Well now it's time to discover some important and beautiful Roman ruins and an amphitheatre in a town called Caleon near Newport in South Wales. The baths and amphitheatre may well be on the smaller scale but are no less interesting and are conveniently set in the picturesque town by the River Usk. The town itself is your typical Georgian medieval town with charming pubs and houses. But its real claim to fame is the importance of being one of the most important military sites in Britain under the Roman Empire. It was fascinating to discover that Caleum Roman Fortress was one of only three permanent legionary centres in Britain, with up to 30,000 Roman soldiers that were stationed here in the 1st century BC. Caleon was a Roman legionary fortress, although the Romans often referred to it as Isca, after the nearby River Usk. Our first stop of this video, and the first stop of many of the visitors that visit Caleon, is the Roman Baths. They are housed inside a building that would remind you of a library. It opens up to reveal the incredible remains of the Roman outdoor swimming pool and bathhouse. Whilst you're walking around, you're able to look at the different interpretation boards and it becomes very apparent how serious the Romans were about their cleanliness. Amongst the way, you can see replicas of everyday Roman objects, including leather sandals, coins, games, or the metal grooming sets with items like tweezers, toothpicks, and nail files. I think Caddo have done a great job in bringing the enormous swimming pool and the remains of the cold bath to life. Although you do need of course to use some imagination when discovering and walking around, but they have installed lighting to imitate the water flowing, both hot and cold, and also showing you people swimming here. The whole of the complex would have been like a modern day leisure centre, with its tepidarium and caldarium. These are known as the warm and hot rooms. This would have been where the soldiers were stationed at the fortress and they would have been able to relax with their friends, get a massage and even buy a fast food snack. Women and children could also use these baths but it would have to be in the morning whilst the soldiers would use it in the afternoon. This was done because mixed bathing was frowned upon since bathing was done naked. The baths were in use from 74 AD to 287 AD. It was a huge complex with a length of 110 metres and it included a large open courtyard and an exercise hall. The bathing routine was to rub yourself all over with perfumed oil, sweat it out in the hot cold area and scrape off all of the dirt and oil from your body to then finish up with the warm room and cold bath or a swim. This must have been such a treat for the average Roman soldier that was posted in a typically chilly Wales. As you move around the remains of the bath's main building, you're able to look around and see the stacked pillars under the floor. This allowed the heat to circulate and the foundations also reveal that the drains 
where a massive hoard of 88 engraved gemstones were found, dropped or indeed lost by their original owners. They are now on display in the Roman Museum here at Caleon. Some stone carvings on display show how the baths would have been decorated with pillars surrounded by ornate mosaic tiled floors. It's truly fascinating to walk around and see. Just a short walk away from the barracks and just outside the town wall stands the remains of the Chilean Amphitheatre, where the soldiers and citizens of Isca came to relax and enjoy entertainment like animal hunts and gladiators in combat. As we walk in we go to the Porta Pompa. This was the ceremonial entrance to the Amphitheatre and for some gladiators this is their very last footsteps that were taken across this walkway right in front of you. The amphitheatre was built around AD 90 and can seat up to 6,000 spectators, making it the equivalent of a multiplex cinema or sports stadium, and this was to keep the soldiers happy in their time off. The amphitheatre is huge, with sloped banks, and the building of the amphitheatre outside the fort walls shows that this area of South Wales must have been fully under Roman control. This was 16 years after the fort was built. It was not solely used for blood sports, it was also used by the military as a parade ground. The shape is oval and broken up into eight different sections by passageways between the high banks of seatings. It's 184 feet long and 135 feet wide and halfway along the oval on each of the sides were the seats of honour for the VIPs. This was the equivalent to modern day box seats. Below these boxes were the small chambers where the humans or animals waited to enter the arena. One of the lower chambers had a small niche set into the wall. This was presumably for a shrine that was dedicated to the goddess Nemesis. She had divine authority over luck and provided bad luck to anyone with too much good luck and vice versa. It's said that people would pray or give thanks to the gods before they went in to battle so that they thought they had the good luck and it would be on their side. It's such an impressive place, the scale of the seating area as you can imagine just sitting here would prove just how popular the entertainments were back in the day. The total number of seats was more than the number of men serving in the Second Legion. You can walk out into the centre of the arena floor and look up at the sloping stands and just imagine yourself what it would feel like to be a gladiator with 6,000 people watching you, jeering and jesting. It's quite cool and terrifying at the same time. Also nearby are the remains at foundation level of the Roman barracks with a block of rooms that housed the soldiers. These cramped rooms were where the men slept and stored their weapons. And a latrine block was located on the north of the barracks and it features a number of stoves and kitchens that were also located on the western side of those barracks. Interestingly, it's the only Roman legionary barracks still open to the public in Europe. We really hope you've enjoyed watching our short video here today at Caleon. We've loved going back in time and seeing how the Romans have lived and hope you did too. So if you like what you've seen, please be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. We really do appreciate all of the support that we've been getting. We'll catch you next Friday for another walking tour around the South of Wales. Till next time.